Spatial intelligence is the ability to understand and remember the shapes, positions and movements of objects in space. It allows a person to picture things in their mind and mentally rotate or move them. This type of intelligence helps people read maps, draw, solve puzzles and design structures. It also plays a role in imagining how parts fit together or how something will look from a different angle. People with strong spatial intelligence often think in images rather than words and can use mental pictures to solve problems or plan tasks. Now let's look at some examples. A person with strong spatial intelligence might be good at putting together furniture by looking at diagrams, reading blueprints or navigating with just a map. Architects, engineers, artists and pilots often rely on spatial skills in their work. For example, an architect must be able to picture a building in three dimensions before it's ever built. A video game designer needs to imagine how objects move through a digital space. Even a basketball player uses spatial intelligence when judging where to pass or shoot the ball based on other players' positions. Now let's look at some strengths of spatial intelligence. One strength is that it supports creativity and innovation. People who can visualise different possibilities in their minds can come up with new designs, inventions or artistic ideas. Another strength is problem solving. Spatial thinkers can often spot patterns or imagine solutions by mentally testing out different arrangements or pathways. A third strength is how it supports learning in hands-on ways. Many students who struggle with reading or writing can still excel when tasks involve models, diagrams or visual thinking. However, spatial intelligence is not without its weaknesses. One weakness is that it may be harder to express these ideas through words. People who rely on visual thinking might struggle to explain their thoughts in writing or speech, especially in academic settings. Another weakness is that spatial skills do not always help with abstract or symbolic thinking, such as doing algebra or writing essays. A final weakness is that spatial abilities can sometimes be overlooked in schools that focus more on reading and math, meaning some students with strong visual talents might not get a chance to shine. Now let's look at some alternatives to spatial intelligence. One alternative is verbal linguistic intelligence, which involves understanding language, reading, writing and speaking clearly. People with this strength are often skilled at telling stories, remembering details or learning new words. Another alternative is logical mathematical intelligence, which focuses on reasoning, numbers and problem solving through logic. These types of intelligence can complement spatial intelligence or offer different ways to learn and succeed, especially in fields like law, science or literature, where visual thinking is less central.